Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, or well, welcome if you're a newcomer. Uh, this week's video is going to be following on from last week's video, which was the, you can't really see it down there, but it was the ZXR alternator belt, which I replaced. Uh, I have got some parts to still put back on, which we will get to in a bit, but going back to what this video is all about this week, supposed to be, is another new part what I've had to buy it's only eight pounds so what it is is a repair kit for the fuel tap petcock or whatever country you want to come from yeah, whatever country you want to come from whatever country you come from and whatever way you pronounce it we call it a fuel tap petrol tap some people call it a petcock or a big cock or a <laughs> but anyway yeah you know this thing basically that's what we're going to be doing replacing all the little rubber seals in that so anyway I guess there's nothing left to it but to do it so without further ado let's get on with it okay so uh, we will show you what we're up to what we're up to is we've got all the pipes onto the uh, fuel pump we have got the carburetors in yet uh, I've attached there is four bolts on the top which are these type of bolts one two three four they've gone in pretty easy because I just use this so anyway going back to the other bit yes that one's in and then these three when I first got the bike they were missing and let me go back to these four because when you undo these four they're a bit like an electrical plug you know when you undo your electrical plug well in England anyway you undo the middle screw and have we got one loose anyway yep here is our electrical plug when we remove that screw the plug comes apart but that screw doesn't fall out so you don't lose it and uh, basically that's how all these bolts are you undo them and they stay in the plastic they don't fall out but these ones like I say were missing and here is two of them and so what I have to try and do is with my tool get some masking tape and try and take my bolt to the tool <laughs> oh my god and that tool in there is a little insert so sometimes when you're trying to pull the tape off that when it's in position it pulls the whole lot out as well so it can be a bit of a nightmare so anyway that's what I'm going to do that's what I'm doing now to finish off getting it all back together hope all that makes sense God. so anyway like I said let's get on with it so here goes wish me luck what I have to do is what I have to do is get my torch shine it through this hole and then I can see that hole down there and then we have to try and feed this through into the hole and when you put this tool in this hole you have you're really restricted to what you can see so it's a bit of trial and error and there is like the rubber flange what comes through is in the way as well so you have to push that out of the way at the same time I don't know if I'm in or not I think I'm in I think I'm in. We'll soon know if it tightens up. Don't feel like it's going to tighten up, so I don't think we're in. No, we're not in. <laughs> oh, come on, where are you? Oh, 
feels a bit different. Nope, we're still not in. Feels like we're in. But you can't, the only way you can see it is through there. And you can't. Aha, yes, we're in. We've tightened up. We've tightened up, so that's one done. We've got two to go, so I'll switch the camera off while I do these two. So now you know what sort of problem I have to go through to get these last bolts in. Let's see if I can pull that out. Yes, I've still got my bit on there. So that's one in. Like I say, we're going to get the other two in and I'll be back when we're doing something else. Okay then, so there she is, all back up, up together. Uh, I'm not going to put the seat back on yet because I want to do the tank first, which is the, uh, like I said, I've got to put the uh, fuel tap repair kit on. So I'm going to get this in the tin shed with the divvy. Then I can get my table in here and sort the petcock out. Fuel, fuel tap, petcock, come on. Trying to go all American now, aren't I? Anyway, let me get this out of the way and then I'll be back with you in a bit. So here we are, everything set up. Here's my fuel tap, it's not actually attached to the petrol tank, which most of them are, so that's quite good. I can zoom you in a bit. Get some close-up action. Are we in focus? Just make sure we're in focus. Okay, so on this one, on this tap for the ZXR, it's got two little screws. I think you do get two screws with the uh, new kit. So it's not too bad if you do ruin these trying to get them out. It's quite loose, that one's quite loose. That one's quite loose. So just get these two screws right out. That's one. That's two. And then this should all just pull out. There we go. So basically on this it's just one two seals really. So if we go into here we should be able to them out with a little look. There we are. Oh, both came out together. How clever is that? So, that's all we're doing is replacing those two. Okay then. Yes, so here's the new gasket set. Not even opened it yet. It's pretty damp being in here as well. Soft cardboard. In my bin, see what we've got inside. We've got a nice little card. Can't quite see what I'm doing, can you? Motorcycle recycle. Thank you very much. A good name for a YouTube channel, isn't it? 
motorcycle recycle and there's what we've got out of the packet uh, not quite sure what that little one's for but I know what they're two for and I know what the two screws are for so that's all right for eight quid isn't it uh, what else we've got we've got the little All my address on, don't want to show you that, do I? And what else did we drop? Oh. Thank you for your purchase. Motorcycle Recycle Unit 5. Yes, as far as we go with that, so put all those away for the moment and there's our little repair kit so first let's uh, clean up the petrol tap with some via vol via vol yes let's try and find some via vol should have some via vol somewhere here we go, some via vol. Everybody should have via vol in their shed. You can't do any jobs without via vol. There, let's try and uh, give everything a nice good clean. I'm not trying to advertise that, I've just left it there. Then we can uh, see if we can get that out. There we go. The back end of this is a bit pretty dirty. Sure you don't lose your spring washer you don't get one of them in your kit do you there we are that'll do for that put my compressor on and uh, give it a bit of a blow job Do it. The man with the orange gun. Turn that off. That's better. So like I say, I've got no uh, red grease, so I'll put a bit of uh, that lubricant on it instead. Let me try and get these things out. stick this thing in first just put a little tiny bit of nothing major uh, stick that in there a bit of Vaseline around that
then we've got to get that on there Matt back in there, easier said than done, isn't it? Make sure the spring washer is located properly. I'll have to stand up and do it off camera, Let me just get this in properly. There we are, I think that's located proper. We just put a little bit of Vaseline around the uh, edge and I don't know if it's put that in there or should I just put it on there yep I'll just put it on there so that is that mess about with a bloody spring washer again because it's pretty piggly that is it make sure reserves at the top get our two little screws out push that in there should be going in God, they're so fiddly fiddly piddly things to deal with try and get that one in wobble it about as you turn it sometimes helps it give it a bit of a wobble try and tighten the sides equally don't go too mad either side do yes that feels quite nice uh, put it to the off position I'll save these rubbers because I haven't got a clue what they're for whether there's something to do with the pipes or oh, I don't know I can't see what they're for a different model so there you have it just pour some petrol in it and uh, see if it's still leaking bloody hope not anything to stand the tank on a bit let's try to get some more green paint and uh, match it up but still don't think it's quite right is it if I stick that under there like so and undo the petrol cap put our nozzle on Go 
too mad because if it's still leaking, I've got to drain it all out again, haven't I? So that will do for now. Let's try and get some water on that side. Nope, no wetness whatsoever. Trevor. Uh, so now, let me, I've got a little old container. Zoom you in a bit. Just want to make sure that uh, fuel is coming through without dropping my petrol tank on the floor. Oh yes, definitely. Definitely fuel coming through, so. There we have it, job done. So now my next job will be get this all back on the bike and then I will catch up with you in a bit. Okay then guys, that's it, the end of the video I'm afraid. Uh, we've got it all back together. We've just got to get the uh, fuel tank, tank bolted on, just two little bolts. I'm not going to take it out because you can't see behind you, but it is pissing it down as usual. So, hope you enjoy it. hope it's of some use to some people in the now or in the future. And uh, you've been watching Road Rodent Restore. See you again soon.